Hello, everybody, and welcome. We're so excited that you're here. We just want to say thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your Tuesday night to join us and to hear an amazing, inspiring story by our guest speaker tonight. So my name is Patty Whiteye, and um, I'm just going to host before we get started and before I do the introductions, I'm going to ask you guys to please drop your first and last name in the chat if you are a guest. So if a market partner invited you to come tonight, put your name in the chat and we are going to do a draw at the end for uh, Rejuvabid Split End Mender, which is like one of our most um, favorite products that we have because you can't get anything like it anywhere else. So um, I'm really, really excited to introduce you to my new and extremely dear friend, Vanessa. Vanessa and I met on our way home from Punta Cana. We were sitting beside each other on the plane and we got to get to know each other a little bit and actually quite a bit. And she is just an absolute shining star. She's an amazing person and she has an incredibly inspiring story. She's from New Jersey, but moved to Miami recently. She's a market mentor with money. That means she's got her Cadillac. And um, she's going to share her story about how she got started and what made her decide to do this as a business and how it's changed her life. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the chat. We'll have time when she's finished to um, ask questions if you have any. And I want to welcome her team here, too, because I know they're here as well. So all right, Vanessa, it's all you, girl. Oh, man. Thank you, Patty. Thank you for that edification. Thanks for handing that energy over. And I just want to. Um, Feel that right back to you guys. So this is the beauty of what we do is I made a new friend on a plane and her story inspired me. And, and just from that plane ride and then just continuous communication. And like Patty said, now we're dear friends. But part of my story, I want to take you guys back to, I have to take you guys back to 2019 in order to get to where we are today in 2021. So in 2019, I was full blown in my luxury retail career. And I was working for great companies and it was all, it looked so sparkling from the outside, but there were a lot of things that I disliked about my situation at the time. And since I was just so used to living that life, I always knew I wanted more, but I wasn't ever too sure on how to get it. So at the time I'm working luxury retail and although it is luxury retail, I was still living paycheck to paycheck. So I did find myself working part-time gigs that a lot of time were nightlife, nightlife gigs and I was just full blown hustle culture, hustle, go, 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 go. Um, and although I worked so much, I always had such a strong passion for inspiring people and mainly through beauty and fashion. So although I was working full time for fun, because it's important to still live life and have hobbies and have fun for fun, I was building my online platform, still pursuing the things that I love to do, fashion blogging, inspiring people to just go for it. Um, I'm also a talk show host, so I would pers pursue that as well. But my full-time, where my priority was, my full-time job and my part-time job, because that's where the income was. But there were so many things I disliked. I really, really, really didn't like asking for time off. It was so difficult living paycheck to paycheck to travel. I knew I loved to travel, so I didn't necessarily have enough money to travel or have the time because I was so tied up or committed to a job. And the time they did give me, um, it was on their time. And that always felt really overwhelming for me. And I was fortunate to have good mentors and I worked with great people, but the actual job and feeling like I have to do this in order to live life was something that was really strange to me. I'm of the era of the YouTubers. I'm of the era of the influencers. And I knew that there were people out there just like me sharing fashion or their hair products or whatever it was just for fun. I was doing it just for fun, but I knew there was people making an income from it. I just did not know how. And when you would go on YouTube and figure out how to become a content creator and do it full time, all you hear is consistency and partnerships. And it's like, how and where do I even do that, right? So I knew that there was a way, I just didn't know how. Until a good friend of mine in the summer of 2019 
had said to me, hey, I feel like I always share, I always see you sharing products. I see you sharing your lifestyle. I see you sharing so much. You genuinely enjoy this. What if I introduce you to a partnership that could open so many opportunities? I know you aren't commissioning from this and I know you have fun doing it. What if you could still have fun and make an income? I simply wanted to replace those extra gigs and those part-time jobs, if I could just find a fun way, a more residual way, something that I was already doing because I'm on my phone all of the time, even while I'm at work. So if I could become a little smarter about this technology thing that so many people are growing in, why not try it? So at the time I had already had a, a, a good following because I had had these conversations for such a long time. And I wanted to make sure that this was the right partnership for me. And something that I learned and a lot of times is we think it's so much about the product, but maybe I wasn't prepared in my mind because I had just come from such a toxic and sort of miserable space. I don't like to use that word now, but when I look back at it, I was really miserable. I was stuck in this routine. I was really upset at the time I'm living in New Jersey. It's so cold commuting into New York City. And it's like, I have to do this. Like I, I had no choice because it was a job. So I had told my girlfriend, I said, hey, you know, all she had to say to me was the following, right? I, I gave her all the spiel. I said, I'm working full time. I'm working part time. I just do not have, I do not have time for anything else. And she's like, listen, I, I as well have my career. I do this for fun. I love these products and it, it, it does enough for me to pay my car. And I said, whoa, okay. Now you're talking my language. If I could figure out a way so just pay my car because that's the only reason I'm working part time is to pay for these extra expenses. She had me just at that. She's like, and at the same time, you have the opportunity to earn these trips and, and you can even earn a car. I'm like, listen, sis, I do, I do not need to earn a car. I just want to pay for the one I have right now. She says, so be it. I try the products. I fall in love with it. I also learn that how how those influencers on YouTube were, were making money from these partnerships. I learned how through this investment, because I had all the tools, I learned that if I consistently use a product, share it, love it, it's something I was doing every day anyway, sharing my coffee, sharing my, my lifestyle. So why not add some products in there that were not only good for me, but good for others. And along the way, as I fell in love with the product and had other people fall in love with it, I learned that I was building that income. And I made those $500. I said, hey, all I wanted was $500. And once I learned how to make that, I said, why not try a little more? Why not go for a little more? So now I'm learning something more about myself, right? Taking everything that I had already experienced in other areas, working retail, trying to figure out this blogger thing. I don't know. I had no idea what I was doing, friends. I just knew I was looking pretty, taking pretty pictures. But what I did know is that I was making no money. But all my friends were like, you're doing your thing. You're, I, I don't know what my thing is. I just do it for fun. And now I found a way to add an extra stream of income to my fun. And once I figured out how to make that part-time money with this part-time, I, I, I was able to let go of, of nightlife and all of those things. So as I'm building my mindset and learning and understanding that this is, this is a business and I'm learning different skills that were already within me and I'm placing them in a place that's bringing me so much more joy and I'm making an income. So it's all win-win. I, I reached my first rank with the company um, in December of 2019 and I double ranked on New Year's Eve. So I go into 2020, I'm like, I think I got the hang of this. I go into, I repeat, we need timelines. I go into 2020 thinking I have this under control. We're having fun. And as we all know, 2020 was quite, quite the year, quite the year. We all had to stay quite hydrated that year. And we learned a ton of lessons. And there were a few lessons that I learned in that February, March, 2020 time. And I learned that luxury retail is not an essential need and that People do not have to buy luxury clothing when the world shuts down. So I was furloughed from my career. But this thing I was just getting a hang of was an essential needs partnership. 
So even though there's a zombie apocalypse happening, people will still take care of their hair and they will still take care of their skin. And I had gotten in on something without even realizing what it would become. So I encourage people all the time that even though you don't see it at the initial, just hang in there, have that consistency because it'll turn into something so much more. So during COVID-19, when the world shuts down, there's these online connections, how we're connecting right now. And I took advantage of how I stepped into my power. I loved what I was doing. I had experience in sales. I had experience in social media. And I love to teach. I loved to train. In my time in retail, I was always assigned to train. So once I learned how to make my, my income, I just wanted to teach others how to make theirs. It led to an explosion in a time where so many people were going through so many financial struggles, whether it was $20, $100, it all meant something in a time where everything was panic and shut down. In the midst of panic, um, I, I really thank the, the universe the most high because it was an opportunity for me that when my priority shut down, these new things come to light. I hit market mentor um, in May of 2020. I qualified for my Cadillac, this car that I wasn't even anticipating. I had earned my first free trip to the Dominican Republic the first time around. Um, and I, I, I matched my income. And I learned that if I put, if I have the time, if I make the time to put all my energy into the side hustle, maybe it could become my main hustle. And I truly love it. And I'm helping people along the way. And it snowballed all through 2020. I did go back to work when, the, when the, the world opened up again. I gave it an opportunity and I was miserable again. And I said, I wanna go back to that, that place that I was in and, and I just have to build on this. So I resigned from my job in February of 2021 because I truly believed in what I was doing. This online business helped me see that I had a skill that I could bring out into the world in other areas and it helped me develop my social media strategy business. So even outside of Monet and the social media training that I do with my team that gives me the great beta resources, right? When I see their businesses being successful online, I take that onto my other clients that are outside of my network marketing opportunity. And, and this one source of income that started as a side hustle also brought light to a skill that I already had in my heart and helped me develop an entirely different business and helped me learn that there's so much to do and grow online and that I didn't have to have a job where I had to ask permission to go on these trips. I could be a part of a partnership where I give them so much and then in turn, they allow me to earn so much. Something that my retail jobs, my 401k, my benefits and my salary never offered. My salary, if I gave it my everything or if I gave it my nothing, it was gonna pay me the same. But here I can give it my everything as I do. And it teaches me now that it is okay to run a business and also have time freedom and enjoy and live my life. So I preach that day in and day out. And with my sales experience, if there's anything that I've learned is that we need to put the social back in social media, because if me and Patty would have not had that social interaction on that airplane, we wouldn't be able to have continued our relationship online as I am now in Miami and she is in Canada and we're connected via here. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my story. I quit my job. I moved to Miami and I, I have two online businesses. And if it wasn't for this opportunity with Monate, it probably would have not enlightened all the fire that was that was in me. So I'm so grateful to, to be able to share that with you guys. That was awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. That's so cool. Um, Vanessa, can I ask you, can I ask you to just tell everybody um about do you mind talking a little bit about when you went to Punta Cana about seeing your family? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> How yeah. it was. Just, just a little tiny bit, because I know we don't want to go too long, but if you can just let them know, that's yeah. a cool part of your story. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the beauty is that this was the second time around, right. in that whole trajectory that um, I had earned this trip to Punta, Punta Cana. I won it during COVID and our company is so phenomenal. Look at timing and God. 
we um COVID kept us from going then and in exchange they 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 gave us um a, a money in exchange and that was the money that helped me move to Miami that was my first experience with the Punta Cana trip and then the one where me and Patty met just now that happened in October was super special because it fell right before my 30th birthday and I'm originally from the Dominican Republic I was born there and the way the trip was set up we were split into two two airports right one could have arrived in Punta Cana and another group arrived in Santo Domingo I when I saw that my reservation was for Santo Domingo I was ecstatic and Santo Domingo is two hours away from Punta Cana but I was ecstatic because I decided that instead of taking you know the group bus with all my other Monate friends that were on their way to Punta Cana I had asked my father who lives on the island um, to pick me up and it was really special because I hadn't seen him in two years and um when I got to see him again and see some of my family, it was on a trip that I earned due to my consistency and, and my hard work. And it was just so special to be able to go on a business trip and also have it be a family trip um, at the same time. So as an entrepreneur, you get to make those decisions, right? It's like, I could get on this, this bus, but let me take advantage of this opportunity and, and, and make it even more special. Yeah. He yeah. wanted to drive me to Punta Cana and see what my business was about because he had no idea what I did. You know, it's so cool. I, I thought that was the coolest. Your pictures are so beautiful of you and your family. So thank you for sharing that. Okay, I'm gonna um, throw it over to Aaron Henley. You guys, Aaron is um, my upline, up, 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 up line, senior executive director, million dollar club member. And he's just gonna um, add a little bit. And if you have not put your name in the chat yet for the um, wheel for the draw, then please do that. If you've already done it, I have your name, but we'll double check when Aaron's done. Okay, hey, thanks, Patty. Um, first off, Vanessa, really great to hear your story, um, but I wanted to address the elephant in the room. I know everybody's thinking it right now. No, me and Vanessa are not related. I know we look amazingly similar. Of course not. No. <laughs> but the reality is, the reality is there's so many ways to do this business. I think that uh, I just wanted to take a moment and share if you think about um, what you do, and certainly people are out there sharing on their social, you, you eat dinner, you take a picture of your food and say, hey, this was great. You guys should try this restaurant. Um, but there are other ways to, to do this business. You don't have to be uh, picture perfect Instagram famous. You don't have to, you can go in line at Starbucks and meet people. Same way, talk about social. It's about sharing. If you're uncomfortable doing that, uh, my wife built this business uh, for from the ground up, got to the top of the comp plan, uh, all through social media. Um, but uh, there are people who do events. There are many, many ways to work this business and whatever works for you and fits for you that's what i think um can work and the mentors in this business are here to support you if you're part of patty's team and somewhere in my downline anybody can reach out to me or if you're part of vanessa's team i don't have a problem uh working with sidelines that's the great part about monate we all help each other do whatever we can grow our businesses uh and to be honest it's a risk-free proposition you can sign up today with the person that joined, that asked you to join, and it's risk-free. For 30 days, you can use all the products you get and then return them all, say, no, it's not for me. The reality is we have a less than 1% return rate uh, because people love this, the products. They love the business. And, you know, it's, it's not about selling shampoo or hair care. It's about changing lives. That's really what it's done for my life. Uh, you can hear how Vanessa changed her life including having her father pick her up after two years, you know, and it's just those little things do amazing things for our lives. So I just wanted to jump in and say that for you guys. Thank you so much for sharing. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Okay, you guys, I am going to um, read out the list of names. So if you could just jump in the chat and if you still have questions, you guys go ahead and put them in the chat, but um, I, I do want to say one thing before we do this draw, and that is make sure that if you have questions, we don't, we haven't talked about the products clearly, 
most of us are here because somebody introduced us to either the shampoo or the skincare, likely the shampoo. That's why I'm here. And the products are absolutely phenomenal. Like they're the best, best, best in the world. So if you haven't tried them, then definitely you need to try them, but talk to your market partner and get more information and get all your questions answered and find out what it takes to get started. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. I think I have everybody's name. I'm going to read them off. So I have Latifa, Claire, I am going to butcher this name, Tenar Tenaria, no, how do I say that? I'm not sure. I apologize. Um, Niaja, Jennifer, Yvonda, Lanisha, and Gemini. Is there anybody else who's a guest who I did not get your name? Are we good? Can you guys hear my dog snoring? Lulu's snoring so loud. She's right down there. Okay. All right. So I got the wheel going here. Can you all see that? I'm just going to give it a spin and we'll see who wins the Regina beads. Claire. Okay, so Claire, if you could get your congratulations, if you could get your information to your market partner, have them uh, message me or um, Aaron or Vanessa, somebody to get the information to me. And we'll make sure that you get your Rajiv beads in the mail. And I want to say a huge thank you to Vanessa for sharing. We really, really appreciate you sharing your story. And of course, thank you to Aaron and to all the guests and everybody who came. We appreciate you. And we will do this again next week. I actually have another guest coming next week. So if you want to come back, you're welcome to come back. Invite your friends. All right. Thanks everybody. Just checking to see if there's any message, if there's any questions, no questions. So have a nice night, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>